All right, guys, so we're here at Walmart. We're gonna do some grocery shopping. Honey garlic chicken breast. We haven't had that in forever. All right, guys, so here it is, full grocery haul. We've organized things from carbs, fats, proteins, and caffeine. Um, yeah, I just figured I'd do this because I already tried going through this thing, and I think this is going to be way more organized. Yeah, anyways, let's kind of dive into it. Back on the Sony A6300. Honestly, I love this thing. So convenient. I was able to take this to Walmart and it was so low key and I didn't feel awkward at all. So this was a great birth, not a birthday. This was a great Christmas gift from my girlfriend, Tori. Honestly, can't thank her enough. She really supports my vision, my dreams. And yeah, I couldn't be more thankful. First thing I want to go with is caffeine. So I don't drink coffee, but Tori does. So she has Tim Hortons coffee right here. What this actually does too is it suppresses your appetite. And this actually happened by accident when I first started dieting. I honestly resorted to energy drinks because you know I like, you know, I have a sweet tooth and I thought, you know, it tastes good and everything. But little did I realize that, you know, it was actual it was actually the caffeine that was suppressing my appetite. Um, so it was kind of a blessing in disguise. Um, so if you guys already have caffeine in your diet, it's definitely gonna help. And she adds uh, bliss almond here um, for lower calories is it yeah, yeah. okay so it's only 30 calories uh, for 15 milliliters so it's pretty good I'm gonna move on to proteins so for protein we have the great value chicken breast strips so this is kind of the strips you'd find at you know subway anything like that um, they're 20% meat protein um, some may argue like this isn't good for you, blah, 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 blah. Um, there's a lot of things in life that aren't good for you, but people still do it. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is great macros. So you have 110 calories, two fat and 23 protein for hundred grams. Now this is awesome when you want to make something quick, like a quesadilla, you want to chop these up, put it in the microwave, you're good to go. Or you want to add it onto rice or put it in a pasta or put it on a pizza. It just makes things a lot more simpler. Um, so you don't have to wait for an actual chicken to de-thaw or you don't want to get your hands dirty, right? So it's really easy, quick, and convenient. We got shrimp. Shrimp, of course, low fat, high protein, and yeah, of course, there's no carbs. You got tuna, high protein, low carbs, low fat. And of course, we got the old school chicken breasts. If you are a vegan, there are tons of vegan options out there for you. Um, one of my favorite brands is Morningstar Farms. They make great product, like it's so good. Um, I'm personally not a vegan or, or anything like that or vegetarian, but you know, I'm always, you know, wanting to try new things. And when I tried this, it was a game changer, put this in a burrito bowl and the macros are pretty good too. Turkey, um, turkey bacon, which is great. Um, I think I've shared this on my page before. I'm not too sure. Egg whites, of course, also trying this new egg, the, I don't know, I don't know how else to say it. It's like regular yellow eggs, but it says fat free. Um, I'm gonna give credit to Pat because I saw this on his channel. And of course I decided to try something new. I found these, uh, <laughs> these shrimp. I don't know if I can say this right. Garlic and herb colossal, is that colossal? Um, <laughs> Butterfield shrimp. Basically that's the protein sources that we got today. We're gonna move on to fats. Peanut butter, we love peanut butter. Thing is pesto with basil. So I love putting this on my chicken quesadillas, which I'll make a video on shortly. Um, so yeah, it's just a pesto chicken quesadilla that I recreated um, from cactus, stole their recipe pretty much. Um, but yeah, it's super good and I'll, I'm excited to put that on YouTube soon. Got avocados, eggs. So eggs, of course, high in fat, um, but good healthy fats, of course. Um, and that's pretty much for fats. Like honestly, I had a hard time like decreasing my fats dramatically. And when I first started dieting, I was like really um, aware of like fats. <laughs> and so like I found a way to like eliminate a lot of them in my diet. So these are pretty much it. I can't really say anything too much about it. So um, yeah, I, that's basically it. The next thing, this is uh, meat in the middle. Um, this is high in fat, also high in carbs. Um, and it's actually pretty decent for protein too. 
Um, so the pizza, uh, if you guys want to know the macros, it's 13 fat, 63 carbs, and 17 protein. The one thing I love about these things is portion control. So rather than buying like a big Delicio box, you legit just get a tiny one. You're able to hit a craving and yeah, you're good to go. You obviously can't overindulge in a little serving of pizza, right? So over here are just carbs. Um, I'm going to quickly run through them all. They may not be everyone's cup of tea, but again, I must say that you have to enjoy the foods in order to make progress. We got the frozen veggies, of course, easy. Um, what I found was when I bought fresh vegetables, they would go bad because they would just sit in the fridge all the time. But when you buy them frozen, they last for longer. And yeah, it's, it's good. We got Fruit Loops. We got French Toast Crunch. We have, uh, let's see here, we got the Oreos. We got Pop Tarts, low calorie popcorn, bread, because we know bread, you know, if you eat bread, you can't lose weight. So we got to make sure we got that in our diet. Veggie straws, low fat, better alternative than regular like chips or Lay's or anything like that. Crispy minis, like I mentioned in my last video. We got spinach for omelets. We got mushrooms to add more volume. So the spinach and mushrooms definitely add way more volume in your omelets or your eggs or anything like that. Got the sweet kale salad. Both Tori and I enjoy this one. Super easy. Um, just literally put in a bowl, put on the sauce, put on like everything and you're good to go. Um, we have already made rice, two minutes in the microwave. Um, we have a rice cooker, we have a bag of rice, but sometimes when we get home, we don't want to wait around 20 minutes. Um, we either, like get hangry right away or we want to like, we, we're just hungry right off the bat. Um, and sometimes you want to order skip the dishes or like order takeout or something like that. And having something quick and simple eliminates that. We got apples, we got bananas, we got uh, salsa. Um, like I mentioned before, I make burrito bowls. Uh, salsa is great, um, adds more flavor, doesn't make things boring, of course. So that's basically it. Um, of course, tortillas. Honestly, this is what our diet consists of. Uh, we're just being real and being transparent with you guys. Um, the main goal is to enjoy the foods you eat and that's the best way in order to make progress. So now it's actually time for me to eat. It's been a while. I'm so hungry and it's 11 at night. Really need to catch up on my macros, um, but I knew that I had to make this quick video. So I appreciate you guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the edge.